Oh, by the way, you can also get the NPC reactor script now. It's going to be the first link in the description. Just make sure to uh, uh, put the model in server script service and have a new folder in workspace and call it NPCs and then put all of your NPCs in there that you want to rectal, that you want to be able to rectal. So, yeah. First link in the description. Just get the model and your NPCs can be wrecked out now. Perfect. Okay, so in this short episode, we're gonna make some mobile buttons. And first, you just need some UI. I just have this really simple UI for the mobile buttons. You just have a swing and the block button. Go for image buttons, and you will need some image buttons or just something that you can click so the text button would also work but let's uh, make them unvisible for now then open your comic client and type down here user input service dot input uh, dot touch enabled uh, wait so if user input service touch dot touch enabled then uh, touch enabled is yeah, pretty much mobile. Then what we're gonna do is uh, let let's get our player up here first. So local player is then get us players dot local player. Then player dot player UI dot mobile buttons dot mobile buttons dot visible is true. So what we do is pretty much set this to true. Then the mobile mobile players will see this. Um, then <clears throat> uh, player dot player UI dot mobile buttons dot swing and mobile buttons dot mobile buttons dot uh, swing. Uh, so this button or swing button. Um, Dot swing dot activated connect function so when this uh, button is pretty much pressed we're gonna do the same that we do up here fire the swing event let's also uh, check this it that if we have our sword equipped so if then then this okay Let's try it out if it works. Uh, you can actually. So let's make this not visible again. Uh, you can go into here. You can uh, enable this. This. You can also change the phone here or tablet or something. But let's just try it out. No oh, buttons is not a play valid member. Okay, let's do uh, wait for child mobile buttons and also wait for child mobile buttons here. They probably just haven't loaded in yet. So just put wait for child in front. Okay. Yep, now it works. So, if you press now, nothing happens, but if you equip our sword and press, yep, we actually do the swings. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can make the UI prettier, but now let's also script the block button. It's You can just copy this code, go into our blocking script, go down here, and change uh, swing to block. So, this block button. And then just uh, this is for mm, wait a second. <laughs> this is not organized at all. Um, here we can copy this. And 
Oh, we can actually... Let me actually change the code a bit here. Uh, let's put all of this. Uh, up here. And... Mm, let's copy this. Put it down here. And then at end, uh, what is it called? And a character get attribute is blocking and not character attribute is blocking. Then it's if uh, it's if not stunned. And character attribute, uh, it's not that and character attribute is blocking. Uh, wait, is stunned. Oh, yeah, stunned. Copy this. And that's that and character attribute is blocking. Then you're gonna do a uh, stop blocking. So let's try it out. Okay. Yep. Oh, but the UI isn't really positioned that well. Uh, we can actually change that per code. So let's imagine how what the position would be could be on mobile. Uh, oops, uh, um, so blocking UI and just make it visible. So it could be maybe like this on mobile. So let's let's actually change the per code. Let's change the position of our blocking UI when we are a mobile player. So go into blocking script, then player UI dot. Uh, uh, wait for child. Mobile buttons. Wait for child. Mobile buttons. Then oh no, it's not even the mobile buttons. Uh, player UI. Wait for child. Blocking UI. Wait for child. Mainframe, and then mainframe dot position is UDM. UDM2 uh, dot new 0 0.3 0 Z, uh, 0 0.7 reset and 0 so just positioning up uh, position positioning it up a bit higher okay let's try it out uh, yep Oh yeah, I can just press F because I'm still on on PC. But yeah, okay, nice. Uh, this was everything for the episode. This was the mobile buttons. Thanks for watching. Now, if you did the fan part, now we're just also gonna simply do the paint UI. So again, uh, have a new oh, have a new button. I'm just gonna call that. <coughs> Uh, faint now. Uh, faint. Then go into your comment client. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> um, then instead of swing paint, dot activated, and uh, then copy this and paste it into here. Uh, this should work hopefully. <laughs> I haven't tested it out myself, but should work.
Okay, doesn't seem to work for some reason. <coughs> hmm. uh, oh, I think, yeah. We haven't set this yet. We haven't set this to tick. So, copy this line, then line 19, and paste it into here. Yes, okay, and just to minimize the code a bit, we can also just do local function is paint function and then just copy this, paste it into here and call the paint function here and here. Oh, right. Okay. That was it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part.